Howdy, folks. So I know it's been uh, a month and a bit since I, uh, I talked about this radio. I know I did a quick thing in my update video, but uh, uh, probably not many people watched all the way to the end of that. So um, anyway, like I said uh, in that, I did recap this thing on the bottom, and then I, I, I plugged it in, and the thing was using twice as much power as it was supposed to. And I traced it down to the uh, the audio output transformer, which I think is... Uh, it's not shorted, but it is lower resistance than I think it should be. And um, anyway, it was it was dissipating way too much power, and I was I was worried about the, uh, the audio output tube uh, red plating and just uh, dying. So I kind of just let this thing sit for a while. I really didn't care at that point because, of course, the cost of these things is pretty high when you uh, think about what this whole radio is worth. I mean, it's not a very special radio. So anyway, I. Uh, I sort of ghetto fixed this. I just put in uh, some resistors in series with the uh, primary winding of the audio output transformer just to drop uh, or to increase the DC resistance and drop the current um, that goes through that tube. And uh, that seems to work fine. I was actually kind of worried about how quiet it would be when doing that, but it actually is actually, it's actually pretty good. Um, so if, if we look at the power meter now, you can see it's drawing about 23 watts. I already turned it on because this thing, uh, the rectifier end is kind of weak, so it takes uh, forever to heat up, but it does work. We, we fought hard to, to increase the consultation. First of all, we were fighting to see the amendments, right? I mean, I mean, it was the first time that... The reason, the reason why there's so much interference is because um, there is an apartment building next to me and they have massive directional um, antennas and there's one of them that faces directly into my living room window and so that's, that's the reason why I'm getting blasted by EMI and this desk is right in the path of that high gain antenna. So if I actually rotate this 90 degrees, the interference pattern changes and stuff. And so if you get it in the right spot on the desk, you can kind of uh, get away with it, you know, without it. But I'm not going to bother to find where that uh, sweet spot is. If I go to another room, it's okay. But we only really have one AM station uh, in this city. Um, that you can kind of get two, um, but it's not just this radio. Like we really only have one or two stations in this uh, area. So. Anyway, it does work, and uh, I mean, I guess that's all. That's all I really wanted out of this thing, really. I, I just wanted to get it to, to power up and, and, you know, play something. I have, I've got to come up with a glue or something that I can attach this antenna up to the back with because I haven't yet done that. But if we just flip this over, I'll show you what the bottom looks like now. So uh, I've replaced all the caps uh, in here with. Uh, just ceramics. Um, they're all pretty small. I've got two two uh, electrolytics down here, and uh, these three resistors you can see that are kind of janky on there. Those are the um, those are the resistors that I just happen to have laying around that were higher than a quarter of a watt. So um, it it adds up to like 1.5 k or something. Um, so that's just in series with the uh, the primary. And the only cap that I haven't changed is this one which uh, I'm pretty sure is a mica capacitor. Um, it's just not labeled as one. This is the uh, primary cap for the local oscillator. So this is 100, it's supposed to be 144 puff. I measured it, it's about 138, so it's pretty close. So that's why I think it's probably mica. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get one that was this value. So I tried, um, I tried, a, I tried just a film cap, um, a 100 puff. But um, it's too far off. I can't, I can't tune the local oscillator frequency um, with a cap that far off um, because there's just these little tuner um, capacitors on the side of the, the tuning gang, um, and unfortunately they're they're just they don't have enough range to pull in a hundred puff. So I just left that one in there. It's mica. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I did re I did replace the others. Um, there were two other mica caps that I did replace. I didn't have to replace these, but I already bought them, so it's kind of like why not. And I had exact values for those, so I wasn't really worried. But 
Anyway, so that's the status of this thing. I'm just going to put this back together. Maybe maybe dust off a little bit, but that's about it. I've got the other radio I've got to deal with, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff I'm working on right now, which is far more important than this because this stuff's been sitting for God knows how many decades, so I think it can sit for uh, a few months more. So anyway, I just thought I, I might as well update you on it. It does work. Um, it's not super awesome, but that really wasn't the point. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching.